What's up everybody? My name is Daniel and welcome to week 6 update of the 100k challenge. Um, I think it's week 6 and honestly I think all of these days are starting to blend together because it's been the same thing every single week since I've started this portfolio. It's pretty much been down, 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 down. Um, not even one single week uh, of my of this 100k challenge portfolio being in the positive. It's just been the same thing every single week. So it's starting to just blend together. But let me just double check. So yes, it is week six. So welcome to the week six update of the 100K challenge. And if you don't know what that is, this is a challenge where I deposit $50 per week into my SoFi investment portfolio with the goal of trying to reach the $100,000 as soon as possible. So based on what I just said, you guys can pretty much guess how my portfolio did this week. But to kind of just shift the focus for just a second, uh, earlier this week I did upload a video talking about how Robinhood is looking into allowing retail investors like you and me to actually buy into IPO companies at the actual IPO price instead of the price uh, that is determined once it's available for public trading. Well, right after I uploaded that video, well, a commenter informed me that SoFi was also working on this feature. And then the very next day, um, on the SoFi main app page, they did. there is a segment that uh, has talked about how they are going to be introducing this pretty much the same feature. So I just wanted you guys to know about that. So Robinhood and SoFi, as I know, it, as I know right now, are the two brokerages that are working on this feature to allow the masses pretty much to buy into IPO prices that previously only in institutional investors were able to buy into. And now shifting the spotlight back onto my portfolio, let's just take a look at how badly my portfolio performed this week. So let's get to it. So before I get into my portfolio, just to show you guys what I was talking about just a few seconds ago, you'll see here that on the main uh, page of the SoFi app, one of the main topics, one of the main articles, I guess, does say that new IPO investing at IPO prices. And this is the article that talks about the uh, buying into IPO companies at the actual IPO prices. But it doesn't tell you exactly when this will launch. It just pretty much tells you that it's coming and that uh, they will email you once this feature launches. So I don't know when I, uh, the SoFi one will launch. At least they have kind of acknowledged and kind of move forward with this feature but Robinhood hasn't actually confirmed that they're working on this feature um, a lot of this information comes from confidential sources that are uh, that actually work inside or alongside Robinhood itself so overall in my opinion I think this feature will be launching with Robinhood also but it just hasn't been officially confirmed but now just moving on to my portfolio specifically in so far. So if you look here, you'll see that as of today, my portfolio value is at $318.73. I have a net contribution of $350, which means I have a loss of $31.27. And that is due to a lot of the down market. And uh, those of you that have followed me for a while, that is also because I only have two companies in this portfolio in this young portfolio and both of them are pretty much tech focused so that's why it's been taking a big hit since I've started this portfolio but just to look into both of those companies we'll start with PayPal so for PayPal on the week they are down 0.48 percent and looking at my position in PayPal specifically I have a total value of $110.53 I have 0.45 shares of PayPal and an average cost of $261.54, which means I have a loss of $9.41, which comes down to comes out to a loss of 7.84%. Now moving on to my second company or last company, which is Square. So for Square on the week, they are down 4.20%. In my position specifically in Square, my total value is $158.14 and I have 0.74 shares of Square and an average cost of $243.12 and that which means that comes out to a loss of $21.86 and that comes out to a loss of 12.14%. Pretty much, like I said, this portfolio has seen nothing but losses since I started this portfolio uh, six weeks ago at this point. 
but I am still moving forward with investing $50 per week into this portfolio, which was the goal overall with this portfolio to show you guys that no matter if the uh, market is good or the market is bad or my portfolio performing well or bad, $50 always goes in every single week and will be invested every single week. None of this money being deposited into the portfolio is sitting on the sideline. It is always working towards a better goal. And moving forward, I am still investing $50 into both of these companies, $30 into Square and $20 into PayPal. But I have looked at my positions in both of these companies. And for Square, I am very close to getting to one whole shares of share of the uh, of square itself so if i hit one share of square i might start reversing that and putting thirty dollars into paypal and twenty dollars in square until i can get both companies basically onto one whole share and at that point i will probably consider adding a new company into my portfolio but i don't want this portfolio to get too bloated with too many companies because i have said this before i think my goal for this portfolio for at least let's call it maybe two, first two years, I only want a max of about eight companies. So I am being a little more choosy about which growth companies I add into this portfolio. But I think once I hit one whole shares of both companies, I think it is time for me to add a new company into this portfolio to kind of just spread my money out a little more. And plus, honestly, uh, it's getting a little stale for me personally and maybe for you guys to see just two companies and maybe some of you guys are wondering what other companies I really add, want to add to this portfolio and but at the point of one whole share for both companies then you will see which company I will probably be adding into this portfolio and that pretty much wraps up this update video like I said before if you enjoyed this video please make sure that you smash that like button it really helps inform not just the YouTube algorithm but it helps inform me that you guys out there are enjoying my update videos and also if you want to keep up with this portfolio particularly, or I do have a portfolio with Robinhood, which is my main account that I also have update videos every single week. So if you want to keep up with either one of those portfolio, please make sure that you subscribe to the channel. And like always, I want to thank all of you guys for watching and I'll see you in the next one.